to our first alert weather now. We've got a dry night on tap, but it will not last. Tomorrow, most areas will see rain and some could see snow. Albert here tracking it all. Yeah, it's uh, all going to disappear snow wise, but the rain could add up to a quarter to maybe as much as a half inch. It's going to start to increase tomorrow morning. It'll be several hours that a lot of you will be dry, so increasing areas of rain mixed in with some wet snow tomorrow morning and then more widespread tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and even some lingering opportunities of rain into Friday morning. We also are tracking a clipper system that will impact us this weekend. It's going to bring us some colder air for both New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and we've added the chance of some snow flurries will Sunday and Monday, maybe even some light snow tonight, though the area of low pressure that we're tracking that will bring us a rainy Thursday is here in Missouri, producing some snow tonight. St. Louis, most of the moisture down here towards the south and west of us now, but that will change as we head into the pre dawn hours for tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy skies, a dry radar right now, but the temperature between 40 and 41 across Cook County, upper 30s, Aurora, mid 30s in DeKalb and upper 30s and low 40s right now in northwest Indiana, stretching down to the Kankakee River Valley. So we're mainly dry this evening. And by about 4 a.m., we'll start to see some areas of light rain increase, and that will only increase as morning rush goes on. But it won't be a washout tomorrow morning as you head to work. We will, though, see increasing areas of rain and snow by mid morning, and then it'll change over to just a cold rain with temperatures above freezing tomorrow afternoon. That's 4 p.m. And notice tomorrow evening, it's still wet, and that continues at least for a lot of us as we head into the overnight hours tomorrow with some lingering opportunities of rain into Friday morning, and then those rain chances will finally decrease as we head into Friday afternoon. As we mentioned, not a ton of rainfall out of the system. On average, a quarter, a third of an inch, but a few spots may see as much as a half inch with that rain on Thursday. So our forecast looks like this. 90% chance of rain. A rain snow mix possible in the morning. Rain likely in the afternoon and some lingering showers in the Friday at 42 for the high. We'll dry things out Saturday. Partly cloudy skies and 40 degrees. Now let's focus in on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Here's Sunday morning, New Year's Eve at 7 a.m. There's an area of low pressure up in Wisconsin that will slide right across the area and notice how it produces some light snow and flurries Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. We're expecting some colder air on the backside of the system as well. So the highs will return back in the 30s for the first day of the year. And at midnight, as we ring in the new year, low 30s gusty winds will make it feel like the low 20s and a couple of flurries even possible, as we mentioned, Sunday night. So extended forecast tomorrow's a wet day, especially afternoon and evening time. Lingering showers Friday, drying out Saturday at 40 degrees, 36 with that chance of some flurries Sunday, Sunday night to Monday, first day of the year at 34. And we'll look for those 30s to continue, but drying out Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Thanks, Albert.